The question is whether hexane, that's C6H14, is soluble in water, H2O. So if we look at the structures, this here is our structural formula for hexane. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of these carbons. And then if you count the hydrogens, 14 of those. We can see that this is a nonpolar molecule. There's not a big difference in electronegativity between carbon and hydrogen. And if you look at the molecule, it's fairly symmetrical here. Water, in contrast, is a polar molecule. It has a positive and negative side. And that's because of the difference in electronegativity between the hydrogens here and the oxygens. So if we looked at the water molecule like this, the red, that would be a little more negative, And then the positive, that would be the blue. Because of those differences there, water molecules, they stick together. They're attracted to each other through the intermolecular force of hydrogen bonding. So if you put hexane and water, you can imagine that all the water molecules are attracted to each other. They're kind of holding each other together. And there's the hexane. So it really doesn't mix. Since it doesn't mix, we say it's insoluble in water. Hexane is insoluble in water. A very, very small amount of hexane will dissolve, but it's a very, very tiny amount. So we say that hexane is insoluble in water because it's nonpolar and water is polar. This is Dr. B discussing whether hexane is insoluble or soluble in water. It's insoluble. Thanks for watching.